Hi folks, welcome to your handover videos for this Swift Alpine 2 exclusive edition. So, when the caravan is taken off your car, level it using your jockey wheel and then put your four corner studies down using the winding handle provided just through your door. We have the gas bottle turned on. We have our water butt full of drinking water and the caravan's water hose plugged in. We have a fully fitted and fully charged leisure battery and we have our mains lead plugged in. Our drain water comes out of here. You would normally push two pieces of 28 and a half mil waste pipe into there and either put it into the drain on site or into your waste container. Then we have the toilet. So the top goes flushing water. So fresh water and a bit of pink fluid if you want to use it. And in the base is where the magic happens. And when it's full, you take it to the emptying point on site, you take your cap off. As you tip, you press your vent button. When it's empty, swill it out with nice fresh water again. Pop your blue fluid into the container according to your blue fluids measurements and replace your holding cassette back into place so that the holding the handle sits behind the tab. You're then ready to go inside to set your caravan up and use it. When you arrive inside the caravan, the first thing you need to do is flick your yellow drain valve down to the horizontal position and make sure that your system shutdown button is pressed down. If you're on mains, your charger light and your heating and hot water master switches will be illuminated. This is just where your fuses and trips are situated. So, you come up to above your door, press your power on. We have power inside the caravan and we've got mains plugged in. If you press the leisure battery button here, it will tell you how many volts you have coming into the caravan. If we were to unplug our mains, it would tell us our leisure battery voltage, not how much is coming into the caravan. You can also press the view levels button. It does exactly the same job. We turn our water pump on and you'll hear the pump under the seat pressurising. Cold first, run some water and then over to the hot, making sure it runs nice and steadily. And after about six to eight seconds, you'll hear the pump finish pressurising. There we go. Once we've done that, we need to draw the gas through. So the best way to do this is on the cooker by lighting the hob to make sure there's no air locks in the gas piping. There we go, I couldn't do that with one hand. Super. So we know that there's gas coming through. Then we can come up to this panel okay, so here. This is your heating and hot water panel. So currently it's off, but we know we've got water in the system, so it's quite safe to turn it on. This is a push button, but it also rotates left and right. And this is the back button. So if you get to a page where you don't want to be, press the back button, it will take you to the main screen. So turn it on. Heating, hot water, power source, fan speed, timer, clock, and advanced settings or workshop. So whatever's flashing is what we're going to uh, change. So that one is the heating. So we're going to click to select. Currently the heating is off. So we rotate the dial to choose whatever temperature we want. 30 degrees is your maximum. I'm going to set it to 22. Click to select. Rotate right once to choose your water heating. Currently it's off, but we know we've got water in the system. Eco is 50 degrees. Hot is 70 degrees. Or boost is like an immersion. 
So you can boost it for 15 minutes up to 70 degrees, then it will automatically drop itself to eco. I'm going to leave it on hot for now to get the water up to full temperature. Rotate right once more. Click. How do we want to heat it? Electric two kilowatts. Electric one kilowatt. A mix of electric two kilowatts and gas. A mix of electric one kilowatt and gas. Or gas on its own if you have no mains installed. I'm going to pop it on mix two. That's the fastest form of heating when you first get on site. Rotate once more and click. This is the fan. Now this is a blown air system, so you will need to use the fan. Eco, it'll cut in and out as the thermostat, which is this little black piece here, needs it to. Or high fan, which is on permanent and high. I'm going to leave it on eco, so it will just keep the fan ticking in and out as it needs to. One more rotation takes you down to the bottom section. You can have your heating or hot water on a timer, okay? And you can tell it to come on and off at a certain time of day. I'm not going to put it on timer, I'm going to have it on constant. Rotate once more to set the clock. So it is now 15... 47 okay and then the advanced settings is really for workshop use I'll let you read the manuals to have a look at that if you leave it and don't touch it this panel as you can see now goes back to its sort of sleep kind of mode and it will just flick between showing you what temperature you've set it to and the current time and then it will go dark to stop it keeping you awake these two icons here, the little flame and the thing that says hot, okay, if they're flashing, it means that if the flame's flashing, the heating is not up to temperature yet. And if the water is flashing, it means the water is not up to full temperature yet. As you can see, the heating is not flashing. It is far more than 22 degrees in here because um, it's quite a hot day outside. To turn everything off, select your heating, Rotate it all the way around to off. Choose your water heating, turn to off. And that is your heating and water heating turned off. Then press and hold the button until it says off. And that is your heating and water heating done. Okay, so your refrigerator is your last item. To turn it on, press and hold the power button. It will come on to the previous setting which I had it on mains and at full power. To change that press and hold the selector switch until everything flashes there and then use your arrows to select what power setting you want. That's the battery on your car if you want to travel using it. Gas, so whichever one you want press to select and then you can change your temperature by using your arrows. The more lights lit the colder the fridge will get select again and now it will light itself on gas these fridges take around about four hours to freeze down in full there we go to turn the fridge off completely press and hold the power button until the little green light in here is extinguished please remember that if you're using it on your car then the fridge will need to be frozen down first for at least four hours before travelling.